Hello, this is Dr. Krause with my Root Locust video series part two. Um, one of the things that gets said often when talking about root locusts is that the branches of the root locust will start at the open loop poles and end at the open loop zeros, uh, parentheses, or go off to infinity. Um, and that gets said so often that you might be tempted to memorize it if it's not immediately obvious to you where it comes from. But my claim is that if you understand root locust, there's no need to memorize this because this is truly uh, straightforward. Again, once you understand where it comes from. Keep in mind that we always have this block diagram where we've reformulated into our gain k that's gonna vary from zero to infinity times everything else in the feed forward loop. And I'm assuming unity feedback, although you can reformulate if you had to. Um, so assuming this, then our closed loop transfer function will just be k times L of s in the numerator divided by one plus k times L of s. And so the key thing to keep in mind is that we're, a root locus is nothing more than a graphical solution to the characteristic equation. When we say characteristic equation, we mean take the denominator of a transfer function and set it equal to zero so that the roots of the characteristic equation are the poles of the system. So this is my characteristic equation. The roots of this are the poles. So I've got k times everything else in this feed forward loop, or I've got this denominator, one plus k times L of s. All I'm trying to do is graphically represent how the solutions of this characteristic equation change as k goes from zero to infinity. With that in mind, let's, uh, for maybe not an obvious reason right now, rewrite our loop transfer function L as B of S over A of S. So these are just polynomials. The numerator, the roots of this would give me the open loop zeros if I set B of S equal to zero. And the roots of this, if I set A of S equal to zero, would give me the open loop poles. So L of S is B of S over A of S. If I substitute that back into our characteristic equation, uh, this would seem relatively trivial and perhaps not obviously beneficial yet. I would have that form. Now what happens if I take this form and I multiply both sides of the equation by A of S? So this A of S cancels with that and I'm left with A of S plus K times B of S equal to zero. So this is my modified characteristic equation multiplying through by the denominator of L uh, to get into this form. Now, hopefully it is obvious that if I set K equal to zero, then I'm just left with A of S plus zero times B of S, or just A of S equal to zero. If that's the case, sorry, I made my K look like a phi instead of a crossed zero. This is a zero, ah, it's even worse. Sorry. So if k is equal to zero, I just have a of s equal to zero. Well, the roots of this should obviously be the open loop poles. So when k is equal to zero, the roots of our characteristic equation are the same as the open loop poles of L of s. Okay, what happens in the opposite case when k gets very, very large. So we have this form, as k approaches infinity, I'm left with a of s plus this really large k times b of s. Well, if that's the case, really large k times b makes this seem unimportant or very small by comparison. So this, would be approximately the same as just really large k times b of s equal to zero. So in that case, the roots of this are just the roots of b of s, so these are the open loop zeros. So because we can reformulate to this equation, when k is zero, we just have a is equal to zero, and that's just the denominator of L, and so those are, in fact, the open loop poles. 
So for small k, we start at the open loop poles of L. And then as k gets really, really large, A becomes insignificant, and we end up at the open loop zeros, or the roots of B. So that's why a root locus starts at the open loop poles and ends at the open loop zeros, mainly because we can reformulate in this way, understanding that A is the denominator of L, and B is the numerator of L. Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks.